Hello everyone, welcome back to another Trackmania track of the day. Man, two days already away from a new season. That is... Man, came so fast. Uh, yesterday, we ended with a silver. I went back. Took me about an hour and a half extra to get that gold medal. Glad I went and got it. We are on our way to the first month of getting all golds here. But today we have Sombrero Escalero by Vixa. Let's take a look. Got some stuff I want to talk about today, but we'll get used to the track first. Hopefully it's not as tough of a gold as yesterday's. Like they want us to go over here, not that far over there. And even over there. Okay, you know what? Let's just take a look at the GPS so I stop driving in the wrong spots. All right, got some transitional stuff, tech as well. All right, so a transitional tech track, it seems. Yeah. Looks like it could be kind of difficult. A lot of small spots you got to go through, very tight drifts. The length of the track, the difference between gold and author is not all that large. It feels quiet. Quiet for me? Oh yeah, I have my volume down. Well, I would have kept going, but slowed down a little too much there. Why does everybody gotta have a weird start to their track? Man, there, there's so much shit to hit. Really wanted to end the year off with just a bunch of hard stuff. Like even the stuff over the uh, break I took. Also a little on the challenging side. Yeah, I can tell this is going to be uh, just hard in the sense that a lot of this seems very annoying right now. Like that, for example. That looked like a plastic piece that made me slide there, so you don't have to actually drift that one. Alright, we got that there, slow-mo finish. That's it? That's the only finish? Oh no, there's something okay over there as well. God, that's annoying too. Alright. my new year's resolutions for the channel and for the videos is just gonna be like be more positive towards the tracks 
If you don't like it, just, I don't know, try to enjoy it a little bit. We'll see how that goes. Just not able to get the drift there. It just shoves you to the right immediately upon touching that. Not terrible. There's so many, it, there's such a little time to set up a lot of these drifts. That one just comes out of nowhere as well. Make it. Uh... All right, we'll take. Uh, okay, gold does take this finish here. to get that better but I'm not exactly sure how to do it you can't go straight out you gotta like turn to the right that's fine but then what the heck do you do here to get like an early landing I don't like this beginning section either. There, there's so much black on black here that I'm having a hard time seeing what is the edge of that and what's not. There's like a bunch of shadows and the crap in here. Very hard to tell what is what. Here we go. You gotta drift this one super early, otherwise you just don't get it. Drifts come out of nowhere and just no time to set them up.
I don't know about this track, man. <clears throat> the transitions, I, I, I don't know. They are just not really all that smooth. You have to hit it like perfectly, otherwise you just get sent flying off into some random object because there's a million different things to hit. A lot of times I'm getting no drifts as well is super frustrating. Why did I hit there? What do they want me to do here? Because you kind of got to start drifting it like all the way over here. But it's such an awkward angle. That one right there, it's it just doesn't work in my opinion. I always just get like thrown to the side. Gotta go for the risky. Of course, I couldn't do that first try. Guess uh, letting go there seemed just kind of as effective as drifting it. Same with that one. I should have started that earlier. Want to drift any of these? This one you do for sure. This one. A lot of these seem like you can let go and get just as good if not better turns. That's super difficult to get that. Still very precise and there's not a ton of room for error. I'm gonna try letting go on most of these turns. It's probably not the way you wanna do it, but it seems far easier and doesn't seem like a huge issue. It's like a little bounce there, like a... You're not actually on a smooth road and it sends you up a little bit into the checkpoint.
This one you want to drift like super early. This one probably let go or drift. This one is a drift, and of course it screwed me. I wanna Yeah, maybe start the drift right when you land. Otherwise, once you land, you just don't have enough time to set up for the drift after that. I'll take it. Drift early here, like super early. Or like, seems like gold kind of lets go. I just didn't have enough speed there to really make that one work that time. Be wide. God dang it. We can get gold here for sure. Just got to put a decent lap together. That one's kind of like combined. You want to drift the first part? Uh, I don't know, man. These are weird turns. I don't really have a specific answer for any of them. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't have enough speed to get over the hump. Just barely not enough there. I don't know what I clipped there to lose all my speed, but all right. This one, this one is just so bad. It's an awkward entrance and an awkward exit as well. The whole thing about it just doesn't work well. Frustrating last few days of tracks. 
It's not uh, not enjoyable. It's going to take a, a better time here. We almost caught up to gold because they had such a slow end there. But honestly, we can be a bit behind gold here and still get it on the safer finish. So much airtime, Jesus. I couldn't even make that. Every single, I feel like every single drift in this track is just very awkward to set up. I don't know what it is about them, but every single one just feels weird. me everything I had there to gain Too much. I held that drift way too long. Dang it. Nope. Didn't get the angle I needed. Wasn't catching gold that time because uh, I uh, was basically on par on speed there instead of being way faster. Could have got a little bit better time, but... Oh, well. Whew. 
Barely made it. Nope, that was awful. That was good. That wasn't that great. Gonna have to go for risky here. And we barely clipped the ball, I guess. Man, we're going to do two straight days of just getting a silver for the commentary video. That would suck. So slow again there. Like the faster I am, the worse it feels. Figured I'll just start finally. And that turn. This one is just. I don't know. Got it decent that time. That wasn't that great. No, we're not going to get it. Ugh. Come on. We have like two extra speed there. A little too tight on the plastic turn. Starting to figure things out though. Been going much better. This one you want to drift early and then release, go full speed through there. Drift early here, got a little bump there. This one I still, I, I don't like that one at all. Feels terrible every single time I go through it. Look here, you wanna land, immediately drift with the air time. Again here, drift early, let go, get through here full speed, drift early here, then fucking YOLO, I guess. It's going to be pretty slow, but I think we have a big enough lead here. That it will not matter, and we'll get the gold. Alright. I enjoyed it more and more as we played here. It's still that middle transition spot. It is, uh... Something. I don't mind the rest of the track now. For anyone who hasn't already left through my complaining in the entire beginning section of the video.
Man, I didn't even talk about anything I wanted to talk about today either. Which sucks, because uh, I don't make any videos on the weekend, so I can't really talk about it until... Freaking... I guess we can go a little longer today. Why not? What do I want to talk about? Well, the new season? I want to stream the new season. When it comes out, or the day after, so I don't know. Sunday or Monday, I'll probably stream on my Twitch channel. Link in the description of that. Sunday or Monday night. Um, what else? I don't know, I've been thinking about changing up how the analysis videos go. Even though I kind of like how they are... ...already. Seems like people... ...in YouTube in general pushes the video more the shorter they are. I mean, they'll be changed up a little bit. I think I'm going to stop, like, analyzing my best lap. In the first part of the video, I'll just give my, like... I'll give the usual stuff. Explaining what the track is, the metal times. You know, risky versus non-risky. Like, give all that inf information. And then the second part, I'll give my thoughts on the track. The video will basically be... be uh, like double the length of whatever the track is. Part of the reason I feel like I don't want to give out like bad advice on what you should do or not do. Like, oh, you should take this corner like this and maybe that's actually the wrong thing to do. I'm not super worried about that because I think, you know, what I've been saying is pretty fine because I'm generally pretty vague on you know, how you should take things. Like, oh, I should just maybe be a little bit more outside here or inside. So it's not terrible advice. I do say always, like, I think I should be doing this, not I should be doing this. Once I know for sure. But I don't know. I think those videos are going to change a little bit here. The thumbnail I changed as well. Again, we're mostly views, to be honest with you. It's all about growing the channel. Like, I want to keep making high-quality content. That's not going to stop. But I don't know. Just things uh, changing up a little bit. I also got a ton of videos that I've been wanting to work on. I just not have had the time due to... Due to the analysis videos, they generally take me like. It depends on like the length of the track and how much I want to go over, but it generally takes me probably like two hours to make one, which eats into a lot of time I have to make other types of content, which is why like the Can I Gold Everything series has slowed down a little bit, and I really haven't had any time to record any other like Track Mania content. It's pretty much the can I gold everything and that's been about all I've been able to get done and that's been taking like two weeks to make one of those. Again, that also depends on how hard the tracks are. I just have a lot of uh, things set. I want to try to do to grow the channel. I just don't want to make the wrong decision. Like, if people are enjoying the analysis videos the way they are, then I change it up. I don't want to lose people that came for that type, but they won't be changing a ton. It'll just be way easier to make them because. On the analysis part, like freezing things and slowing them down and everything, it takes a while to do. Lining it up with everything I need to say and adding overlays of arrows and sometimes I like move the car in certain places. A lot of stuff to try to do. When you're not the greatest video editor, it takes probably longer than it should, but... 
it's getting faster over time. Like the first one took me probably like five hours to make. I've got it down pretty well, but I don't know. It still takes a long time to make it. And again, that eats into other stuff that I want to be making. And the weekends are generally my time off and I've been still trying to get some track media stuff done on the weekends. I don't want to be playing a ton. It's good to clear my mind from playing the game. Otherwise I get burnt out and I start just getting upset at every single little thing in every track. Way too high. It's going to be difficult. We made it though. Nice. Took almost a second off there by getting the risky two seconds behind the author though. That's going to be difficult to get, and I probably won't get it, because that's going to be the end of the video, and I probably will not go back to that track. I should have saved that replay. That's uh, unfortunate. Oh, well. Uh, but hey, that's going to be it for this week of videos. Uh, yeah, we got tomorrow to go. Hopefully I can gold that. Uh, and they don't put out a super difficult track. Today's track, I hated it at first. The transitions were kind of eh. I liked it more and more as we went on, but I still don't really care for that one middle transition spot. It uh, felt weird every single time. But hey, again, uh, Sunday or Monday night, I will be probably streaming the new season, so be sure to go follow my Twitch channel. Uh, link in the description to that, as well as my Discord is down there as well. Uh, but yeah, be sure to check out the track analysis videos as well. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and uh, yeah, I'm taking Monday off of the Track of the Day uh, video as well. So next uh, one will be on Tuesday next week, so I will see you then.